Hi, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be making a DIY weather instrument with everyday materials you can find at school or at home. But first, let's talk about weather instruments. These are tools that help us measure the different aspects of weather, like air pressure, the amount of rainfall, the amount of sunshine, the direction and the speed of wind. They are essential in helping us understand and predict weather conditions. For example, a thermometer measures the temperature of a place, a barometer measures atmospheric pressure, and a rain gauge measures the amount of rainfall received in a place. In today's video, we'll focus on the wind while showing you how to make a DIY windsock. Can you guess what it is and what it's used for? You probably guessed it right, a windsock is a conical shaped instrument that helps us to determine the direction of wind and estimates its speed and strength. It's commonly found at airports, weather stations, and industrial sites to help us monitor wind conditions. But why is it even important for us to know the direction and strength of wind? For meteorologists, wind direction and speed are crucial in predicting weather patterns. Sailors rely on it to plan their routes and navigate safely on water bodies. Even at home, knowing the direction of wind can help with everyday tasks like winnowing. Now, let's jump in and make our DIY windsock using the materials that we have. We shall use a long stick, polythene bag, a pair of scissors, super glue, binding wire, yarn, and a marker. This stick is going to act as a pole to hold the windsock up so that we can place it in an open space to test it later. I'm going to use this red marker to draw strips on the polythene bag. Remember we said a windsock is supposed to be conical shaped. To get that shape, I'm going to outline and cut out the sides of this polythene. Then use super glue to seal it back. Now we have a conical shape. I'm going to use this super glue to seal back the open space. Take a binding wire and roll it around the open mouth of the bag. This keeps the mouth of the polythene open to catch the wind. I'm going to cut out the narrow end of the polythene bag and let it remain open. The next step is to make four holes around the wider end of the polythene bag. Ensure that they are equally spaced. Tie one piece of string to each hole. Tie the four ends of the string together and attach them to the pole. And there you have it. The windsock is ready for use. Now, let's take it outside to an open space to test it and see if it can actually tell us the direction and the speed of wind. As you can see, the windsock is working. Wind enters from the larger end of the windsock and it escapes out from the narrow end. Can you tell which way the wind is blowing? When the wind blows, the narrow end of the windsock points to the direction of where the wind is going, while the wide end shows us which way the wind is coming from. This allows us to see the direction of wind easily. The angle and the inflation of the windsock shows us the speed of the wind. At a lower wind speed, the angle of the windsock drops with only the base of the windsock inflated. At moderate wind speed, the windsock partially inflates making the red strips more visible. At a higher wind speed, the windsock fully inflates and extends horizontally. This simple tool allows us to determine quickly 
wind conditions without needing complex instruments. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed making your wind sock. And for more science fun projects like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please leave us a comment of whether you tried this at home. See you in the next video.